This is Stephanie, and this is the Mocha Minutes Podcast. Hey guys, before we get into the episode, I just wanted to let you know about something that's a little new here at the Mocha Menace Podcast. We are now participating in Buy Me a Coffee. So if you haven't heard, buymeacoffee.com is a place where you can show some um, support and some love monetarily to some of your favorite content creators. That includes me. (laughs) Um, So... It's in the increments of either a dollar, three dollars, or five dollars, and you can do as many as you would like. Um, so I just wanted to let you guys know, would love, love, love some support. So if you would go to buymeacoffee.com backslash mocha minutes, I would greatly appreciate it. It will also be in the show notes. Okay, here we go. Who? Hello, welcome to the Mocha Minutes Podcast. I am Stephanie. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm sorry, y'all. So here's the thing. I usually start out with a song, but this is how my body and my allergies are um, set up. I'm scared I'm going to crack and sound like a frog. So I'm going to keep it in the, um, I'm going to keep it in the change. I'm chamber. I might sing at the end. I don't know yet, but we are here. I have my girl. Ace, Asa, Sanity Thief, uh, Lithium, Lithium Two Lashes, Sexy as Hell, she got fangs on, she be killing the shit, look, all this stuff, she be like helping you talk, she is out there on uh, um the socials, the socials, yes. all the social meds, mm-hmm. she is on um crime time tiktok you know <laughs> what is crime time tiktok I don't know. I'm, I'm making it up because i'm old y'all I don't know. oh lord <laughs> it's not my genre of podcast but if you listen to if you want to see like why are we not talk when black girls go missing they do yes we she do because i'm like thank you for the please because it's like thank you because it's like i'm sorry they're like oh it's not true that don't happen to us yes i fucking do because we don't talk about it but it takes mm-hmm. us to talk about it. Yep. Don't expect it because a man. I, don't mm-hmm. ask. Me, no, I'm not. Uh-uh, I'm not going to. But this, if anybody oh. ever you ever hear anybody say nobody's talking about missing black girls, you can point them to us. And also fucking Google, but that, most that, that chiefly well. to you. <laughs> yes. It's like they, excuse me. Um, they do the work. That is a lot of emotional work you have to Girl. do. To this do not why, only the research for it, but also mm-hmm. talk about it. That's why it, there's such long breaks between seasons. I don't blame you. It's like, oh gosh, it's like so. Welcome back. It has been a while. She's been a long time. Should have <laughs> left you without a dope beat to step two. <laughs> see, see, y'all. It's gonna come back. It's just hello, allergies and and springtime mm-hmm. and like herky jerky. It's cutting up. It's like it's been cold, hot, cold, like three inches thick level of pollen on my car i'm like girl what is this what's happening last week it was hot enough for my mother to complain about how short my shorts were this week i'm back in sweats wait a minute wait a minute not you not you had your hoochies mama's out not your thighs out come on beat i got big legs and anything i wear my mother is going to (laughs) say it's too short Oh no! <laughs> I'm like that's it. Put the thigh if it's above out. the knee, it is too short. Oh no! Did she bring out a ruler? Of course not. <sighs> oh good. I thought, she, I thought you. I thought you were saying, bro. She, she did. I'd be tell like, me what to wait. wear? I'm like, wait. Did you really have one? Let me get out my tape measure. The hell you not? <laughs> <laughs> the hell you not, girl? Get away! But we are here to talk about um. <clears throat> love is love is blind or love has a, a stigmatism <laughs> so we have another season four has ended we had a reunion that was supposed to be live and i was just like because nobody listen, asked for this the way i went to sleep okay. after five minutes of that stream not working you're not playing with stop playing these games netflix and then 
for the actual reunion to be mid as fuck. <laughs> have everybody in a tizzy on Sunday night because they couldn't stream it and then they couldn't watch it till three o'clock Eastern time the next day. Like, I was so confused. Have, this it's is like, why you're going broke, Netflix. It's like, like because they just came out and said by September they're going to be done with the DVD part. I'm like, wait, people still buy those? I think it's not that. They not just going to the red box? Like, they dude, what? Sh- they need to do some some moving some numbers into column A to column Q because they ain't getting no new subscribers. <laughs> I, I don't care. Like y'all, sh- y'all can't do like oh let's do like let's crack down on the password. It's like bitch, fuck you. After what? So full disclosure, Listen. I said on the previous episode, I'm like I can't wait because the reunion's on Friday, and I'm like, <laughs> when the hell has it always been on Sunday? I'm like, did they change it? Everybody's like, no, Stephanie, it's always been Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> it's like oh so if y'all listen like stephanie you said i'm like i know what i said <laughs> i was like i know what i said and i was just like i was like oh it's 7 57 let me get my life together i'm like mm-hmm. never stop me it's sunday i'm like <laughs> they're like yes oh oops <laughs> whoops and then here comes sunday and i'm like girl what they're like we working we and look at us looking like boo boo the fool Seriously, mm. we look at like Latasha Scott trying to explain what open communication versus open relationship was. It's like, girl, mm-hmm. girl, like okay. Netflix, like you, you embarrassed yourself. Nobody asked you. Nobody asked for to that. do a, a backflip. We, we, we just asked you to do a cartwheel. We really did. That girl. was it. We just asked you to do a back bend. We ain't tell you to just jump just, off nowhere. And no, so, like, talking about, well, they did Chris Rock. I'm like, yeah, please name why anybody was waiting for that. Because I'm sure the server, there was no server issues with that. There one. was not, because I didn't hear nothing about it. Because I can't it. tell no, I don't think many people knew that it was fine. Right, because they didn't have, was, like, I the backbone behind it. I didn't, I was like, wait, it's live? There was no push behind that. I was like, oh, it's live? Yeah, we don't care. Like, unless y'all gonna do a last week when you that nigga get slapped again, y'all can keep They should have budgeted what they had for the servers for some marketing. Y'all literally could have just, y'all could have just filmed it on it Sunday was, and dropped it on Friday. Like, I, I, to be only an hour with the juicy I, parts because all of this, the, the segments were too long. Well, Ain't nobody care about Arena like that. We don't care. You didn't ask uh, Jackie and Josh any good questions. Nope. You interrogated Paul for whatever reason. Uh, it was just like, and then she went on this whole, who's having babies? Who's having babies? If one of y'all do not, seriously, I need somebody who was down on their luck, probably some young girl, and I'm and I'm going to say it, I'm going to be problematic right now. Some yeah. young girl in high school who is like literally considering, do I want to have this baby and take care of the baby or do I want to give the baby? Please go knock on Lachey's door and give her a baby. Because give her your baby. You Obviously, are... you could just go there. Right. Like, if these folks wanted you to know if they were planning, trying to conceive, had conceived, were having issues conceiving, they would have said it. Also, you you realize also, y'all are love is blind. You just met this person. Exactly. We ain't done no genetic testing. I just met this man. The, the, it, like it's been you can't what, go a find six days like a side so been chick. together for uh, a year and a month. Like it hasn't it even what? been a year because they said they filmed it last August. So I'm like, it hasn't even been a fucking year. Like. Ma'am, I don't, they probably don't all have like they haven't even fully combined their homes yet. It's they like, probably still got stuff in storage. Some people just still moving back from Portland. I'm like, Tana, where the fuck do y'all live? Like, sweet <laughs> mother of pearl. Girl, shut up. Uh, <laughs> it's like, please leave us alone. Please like, leave get us out alone. Their coochies, my God. Please get out of their vast deference. Get out their coochies. It's like, or also, what if they? literally like, do not want to have children. have kids and also like you, it could it would have been like 
forgivable, I guess, if it was just once she she said it. But no, she keeps doing this thing where she like she badgers people with the same question. Are we gonna get a baby? No, Nick. If you don't go back there and go find you a closet, shout out to Lovecraft Country and fuck this woman and shoot up her club and give her a goddamn baby. I'm so sick of this. Leave them alone. So very. They need for whatever upcoming seasons, if there are any, they need new reunion hosts. Can I, I volunteer as tribute? Because so we can sit there and go, girl. They're not messy. Like they're not messy enough. They're not because I'm like because there's so much. There is so much that could have been like pulled out, Mm -hmm. and they didn't. Yeah, because yeah, there's so many questions I have. Okay. So because but, I would not let Jackie slide like she Oh did. absolutely not. It was like girl. So can we talk let's start <laughs> let's talk about the fashions and what the fuck was that fu- P- Paul was looked like a fuck boy. I'm like yeah, it was so weird. Sir, you're a little too cute to be looking this like, like ridiculous disheveled and mm. I was like I don't no, and the fact that Kwame outdressed your ass is just mm, chat. interesting it's, to me. Mm. And it's like, I mean, well, I don't, I don't know. Kwame's not a bad dresser. He just has not, a bad just, haircut. It's a bad haircut. He has a bad personality. I mean, I don't know. But it was just like, As, I, yeah. I thought he looked cute. And of course, um, my Hair. bubbly Brett Brown, you knew he was going to oh. be cute. Oh, he was going to be particular. You knew it was like his baby. Fit was going to be together. Together, he's like, oh, this could not be happening today. I'm like, because mm-hmm. when, when you saw the clip, when this saw the preview, I'm like, it better not be about my girl. Because wait, and I was like, oh wait, it's about his pants. Yeah, oh. they, they 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 fucked us up with that. <laughs> I was like, it better not, wait, man, hold up, Tiffany, my girl, Tiffany, my girl. Mm-mm, mm-mm. I'm like, wait, it's about pants. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I really, really do like, I was like love them as a couple. Like they feel they look and like feel so like authentically in love. And it's oh so God. beautiful. It's so see. beautiful. It literally I have and not felt know, this way about a couple since Cameron mm-hmm. and Lauren. I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, it's, it's that little twin. Like, I'm like, I just want everything the fact nice. that like they live in what is it, Seattle or Portland? What was it? I think it's Seattle. Seattle. And they are still able to have black friends. Okay. <laughs> okay. But That's both it. of them. Uh, 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 okay. Uncle Jay, do I, you know them? I, I want to know. Have y'all been to Jay's comedy show? Have you been there? <laughs> <laughs> we do, been to we the show. should definitely ask him if he's seen them. <laughs> Wait a minute. Have you been? Because let me tell you, you should go to his show because he's fucking funny. You should go see him. I just so I will say the women on the reunion they looked very very pretty I, I'm sorry Chelsea was like stunning to me and I don't think she's a stunning woman I think she's pretty I but she was stunning on the, on, on the reunion I was like oh she look stunning, all pretty young and cute okay, stunning see. still feels a, a bridge too far oh, for me oh my god but why am I alone she looked she looked radiant I will give that. Yes. Why are we like this? <laughs> You're like, stunning <laughs> no. Is that the word we want to use? I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> like, um, I, I guess we don't. I don't know. <laughs> um, I have to say, and I could not stand her, but I loved Micah's dress. Yes. I love a red be. dress. I don't know what it is about a red dress. I just love it. I'm like, I don't know what it is, <laughs> but I just love it. Um, arena can choke. Over, like girl. It's like girl. girl. Listen here, listen here, Maleficent. Don't be walking up in here like, oh my gosh, girl. They, like, like <laughs> Micah and Irina were weird. It's not just weird, but it was like y'all are. They were like two thousands teen movie. Mm-hmm. Mean girl, air like levels sure. of, of villainous. It was just kind of like, girl, why are y'all like this? It's like, what, Did, what is what is happening? Why like, are y'all doing this? Like they were like stunted in high school or something. Yes, I I don't even understand. Um, 
But yeah, let, let, yeah, off the fashion. Everybody looks nice. No one looks terrible except for Paul. Um, <laughs> when So when you think about the reunion, I was like, what were you like? I need answers to this because I had a scroll of things that I was like, <laughs> something needs to happen. But what were you like? I we better to- get this. I need to understand why Kwame was trying to play like his mom was on the phone in that call. <laughs> How you on speakerphone and ain't nothing coming? Through? We can't hear nothing. Because cause his mama said, I'm not signing that fucking release. Okay? You better not put my voice on this phone. Okay? Put, put my voice on this camera and guess what the fuck? I will put a root on you. Mm-mm. And also, I'm like, I want to understand where the rumor that his sister is like a crisis actor. I'm like, wait a minute, yeah, time out. what? Weird. I was like, I'm on TikTok, but I'm not on TikTok like but, that. Yeah. Where the but hell? Like, I was like, huh? that didn't make any sense. That didn't make any sense. And they all actually do look related. It's actually kind of weird. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I was like, what? What? Why? <sighs> okay. So I d- <sighs> I just d- okay. Kwame and Chelsea, I don't <clears throat> the whole time they're on the show, I'm like, girl, y'all don't make any they sense. They don't sit right. Like something in my spirit don't sit right. It's like it don't it seemed like you're doing too it, much. It, exactly. Like, that, that creepy photo shoot in the Calvin Klein, mm-hmm. I was like, um this does not turn me like, on. Now it feels like Chelsea is pushing it for I can't be wrong reasons and Kwame's just going along with it. Yeah, because that whole thing, like, everybody's like, they think before Auntie Chelsea, they know you? See, right? See, I'm being rude. <laughs> but, oh, they yeah, know you like, 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 what? It, it's, it's giving performative. It's being way too performative and Kwame's coming like, let me show you, I really do love her. I'm like, sir. I'm, like, I'm really... Pr- all of a sudden now it's like I'm really proud of my blackness. They just didn't put that in. They didn't. Air Sir, all you this, said you couldn't go to the prom like, because you couldn't go get your prom date because you're black. Not because like, your your prom date's family was racist. You could like my did. black skin prohibited like, me. Did it? Like, bro, Mm-mm. bro. No. Like, I I get the whole premise of love is blind, but there's some mm-hmm. things that should be known to the people that you're matching with. And that would be race because race is a huge factor in all dynamics. Yeah. <laughs> it sucks, sucks, but it's the truth. And even if you are okay with it, is your grandpa going to call him colored at the dinner table? Yeah, because Chelsea was so he interesting about her dad. She was out so nervous. I'm like, what the fuck is your dad going to say to him? What is he going to say? Exactly. I was like, like wait. Is uh, this going to be an Elon James White situation? Like, is he going to be in the driveway oh, no. during Thanksgiving? Not driveway Let turkey. Me no. Not we eating the, the sweet potatoes in the car, honey. Like, oh, I hope not. Because, like, there's some people where I, I, you, Kwame is one of those people who willingly steps into it. Yeah. Like, he he wouldn't care. Like he would find it like a, a notch on his belt to have gotten a, a, a racist white man's daughter. But there's some people who are just I fell in love with this person. I fell in love, and they fell in love with me. It kind of sucks that their family is like that. Yeah, I, or like I just... it, it. It's I, mm, I I hate that I have no sympathy. For- I don't. And the thing, so the thing about it is, but, no. but I, I, I feel good that we have Brett and Marshall, where I can, I can fully be I, like, I'm like, let me just. There is a TikTok because I didn't like Barnett, um, when he was on the show, like first season. Everybody knows, you know, Cameron and Barnett for the first season, and they are actual <laughs> friends. But he has a um TikTok where he's like, we're boys and we're friends, yeah. And this is my boyfriend. Wait, what? No, because I'm just saying we're boys and we're friends. Oh, okay, yeah. And don't mess with my boyfriend. I'm, he's like, wait, what? I'm like, yeah. I'm sorry. I like Brett and his boyfriend Marshall. I'm like, I love those two. I love that There's they're friends. Like a, a contingent of people that really don't like Marshall, and I've yet to understand fully why. <sighs> I'm a Baltimorean. I could tell y'all why. No, I'm kidding. I'm not kidding. I am a Baltimorean, but yeah, Marshall is very, 
I think Marshall is very cool. He's trying to be magnanimous. The however for me is that he's cosplaying as a really nice guy, and I don't think he is. Okay. So I think it's like I don't think he's a bad guy, but I think he's harping on too much of a I'm a good guy. I'm a nice mm-hmm. guy. When okay, you're I nice, you don't have to yell it to nobody. They already know that about you. I think you're being very magnanimous right now when it comes to Jackie, because he was magnanimous mm-hmm. on that interview with for and on the Vile Files. Um, he was on there with Nick Vile, and I'm like, if you would have told me that Nick Vile's a better interviewer than <laughs> Howie Mandel, who used to have a fucking daytime talk show, I'd be like, girl, what? Absolutely not. <laughs> But Nick Vile is a good one. Also, and Micah is going to be on the Vile Files. But there was something that happened during the um, interview where Marshall was talking about an argument they got into. and Because she, uh, Jackie, is, I think she's a surge tech and she was like just studying to do that. And he was like, yeah, I was going to tell him. I'm like, why don't you just go further? I'm like, you don't want to go further? And the fact that this white man sat there is like, yeah, so... I yeah I'm a little bit older than you so I'm gonna tell you what you did wrong it's like <laughs> and he's like yeah because I'm like I get it it's like you want to fix people sometimes you're mm-hmm. like we're men and we want to fix and but sometimes that comes off condescending I was washing my dishes mm-hmm. when I listened I was like god damn it <laughs> it's like okay eh. okay uh, I can uh, all right I, uh, I understand I don't understand fully like the hate train, but I hate train. No, but I can understand where it's why like people he, he don't got, curl all the way over for red, some people. He got yeah. a couple red flags that I'm like, yeah, mm. no. And then he said he's from Baltimore, and I was like, oh, mm. I'm still not over. Like I can't unsee it. Somebody says he has Disney princess eyes, and I can't. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! I think. <laughs> Oh Actually, my god! I think, was, I think it was Queen from um, Tea with Queen and Jay. Who's so- he? Does he really does have the softest, most beautiful eyes? It's like I just want to talk to him because the way he like sat and talked, it's like you just want to look at him. He'd be like, like, why are you staring at me? Because your eyes like, are so he, beautiful. Like that, I'm just like melting, looking filter. into your gaze. He's like that Disney Five filter that people were putting on their pets with the big well, eyes. You, um, <laughs> Disney Princess Eyes is the name of this episode. <laughs> Because we are clowns. Um, I was like, now you understand. Now I cannot unsee this. I'm like, he does. I don't know what it is. And it's like, I don't think he's soft. But let's go back to Chelsea and Kwame. And the, mm-hmm. I'm like, the fact that we had quote unquote love triangles. I'm like, did we though? Um, what? And then with Micah. <laughs> and so this thing that happened on this scene. See, here's the thing. There's two women that was on that stage that should have been cussing people out. One of them. It's bliss. The second mm-hmm. one is Chelsea. Chelsea, Chelsea should have cussed your ass clean yes. the fuck out. Mm-hmm. Chelsea wanted to throw hands. So she bad. looked like she looked scrappy as fuck. <laughs> I think like it was when it was there. I can't remember. I think it was like uh, either episode 10 or 11 where they met up by that pool or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I could you Chelsea wanted to like mush her in her face you know so she did. badly. You know she did. And she was trying to like be as composed I'm trying as to be possible. Nice. She's trying to be the bigger person. <laughs> and I'm like, why should you be? Exactly. Why, why like, should you be? Because when they show the scene of them meeting up with their dogs, I'm like, I would have changed mm-hmm. my dog to bite you. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's me. Listen, that 20 minute pool conversation, that I would have. Oh, I would have left. And the thing about it is, gone. I'm so I'm kind of glad this kind of. I give a petal of a flower to Kwame for saying I was wrong in that yeah. and this is my fault. I'm like, yes. Yeah, it is. I mean, it took him long enough. It to, took him long enough. Because you were acting like in the moment you ain't understand what the fuck she was talking about. Mm-hmm. I'm like, that doesn't make her insecure. It kind of mm-hmm. makes you insecure because you mm-hmm. literally want to have this conversation with Micah because the way she set up the whole I'm dumping you thing was so odd we are so mm-hmm. great and I love you but I'm a pick Paul so see y'all later mm-hmm. wait what I feel like he <laughs> was trying to keep her as a rebound option yeah I really the thing about it is is like I don't when I look at Mike, I'm like, I don't get it. <laughs> it's like I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I feel that way about Arena. I'm like, I don't get it. 
insane. But it was kind of like you go, okay. And it's like, Kwame, what did you want her to do? Because I'm so sorry. If you, because we're, we're having the dynamic of the second choice. There's like two couples on this show. Well, three. Mm-hmm. I'm, Jack Lena gets on my nerves. <laughs> but it's like, basically, this was the season of the second choice. Because mm. if Micah had not said no, Kwame mm-hmm. and Micah probably would be together. And he's like, yep. oh no, I had my breakup together. You are a goddamn lie. lie. <laughs> you are if lying. If had said yes, it would have been completely It would have been over. It's like you the picked up. Speaking of like the second choice, I am very happy for Zach and Bliss, but I'm so disappointed in Bliss. Yeah. If you broke up with me in the pods and chose to oh hell no I be on else. Every, you uh-uh. can't ask me out you can't call day. me out you cannot call me and say girl i made a mistake uh-huh. she tells so bring me the steak surf and bitch. turf bitch like Top shelf i i uh, bliss seems like a, a, a very charitable person the, oh, um, charitable. someone who is better than me and i don't mean that in the shady way i mean i'm a terrible person <laughs> it's like no i'm a terrible person you so silly <laughs> i mean i'm a terrible person so like yeah. i see why this didn't like end a possibility with zach for her but had mm-hmm. it been me <laughs> oh, I'd have blocked him. It's like, don't call me. Do not call the me. The way I would have cackled in his face if it's he like called and asked me for a date. Um, can we meet up for what? <laughs> for what? What would you need? Because now, what on do you top need? of you having dumped me, I now can see your actual face, and you're not even cute. Okay. See. You... <sighs> okay. All right. So we're here. Okay. Um. <laughs> And this like, as also, much as I don't but, like Irina, this is why I couldn't do uh, something like this because looks matter too much to me. Yeah. Because I would have, I I would have had a similar reaction as her. I just wouldn't have yeah. agreed to continue on. I would have, I would have been like, no, we gone. So yeah, here's I the other had, thing about yeah. that: it's the season of second choice, and also all the men ain't fine and you think i'm going on love is blind so it's like all everybody should be conventionally attractive and i'm like maybe conventional means something different to y'all they are they are really really putting the blind part of this experiment because i was like now hold on to the test we ain't talking about brett because brett is fine we we damn sure not talking about tiffany because tiffany fine Mm -hmm. as fuck we're not talking about that but also mm-hmm. there were other beautiful people in the pods. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, so why are we? I don't and think like, Zach is ugly, the, but he and ain't. The, the ugly one, like the, the men, like Zach and Paul give yeah. me. Actually, no. Zach is just, he gives me weird accountant that doesn't get out much. And Paul gives me serial killer vibes. Yeah. Like he has this very flat affect and monotone way of speaking that it just it's disturbing to me and my spirit i just okay so like on top of not having the actual personality they don't have the looks either so i'm not sure how they made it to i i don't understand either I'm they like, just they must not be airing like the really good parts <laughs> of them in the pod I mean, maybe because that's, from what maybe i'm that's seeing what it is it's like because i'm sitting here like i'm not seeing it and then I'm, the whole serenading thing girl please leave i was like been, unplug that, the damn amp what is happening like girl i would have been at, pretending i was on mtv's next Excuse me, I would have been asleep cannot, like Tiffany. No. Are you still there? No, no. Oh, no. I was so when Tiffany fell asleep, I got so scared. I was like, I was like, mom. It's like, oh my gosh. And I'm like, like, as a as a bitch that has fallen asleep, I'm like, no, Brett, give us like a chance. Oh my please. god, please. Because he walked in. I am done with her. It's like exactly. Like, I was like, stop. Cause I was like, 
like, wait a minute, you couldn't bang on the glass. Y'all couldn't do Hello, are you still in there? No, you couldn't do that. You couldn't do that. My girl was just tired. I was like, girl, I'm like, I felt that whole, oh I drank too much alcohol and fell asleep mm-hmm. in my spirit. I'm like, she just Listen, drank too much. I was, I, like, was, oh. I was going to be so upset if, right? if he didn't. Ooh. I was like, no, don't like, no. <laughs> that like, no, was, give her another just, chance. That was like the best cliffhanger of this season. I was like, I think. Uh, I'm like oh my God. I'm like, come on, y'all. No. Yeah. <laughs> it's like oh Brad no so the fact that they're together so mm-hmm. we talked about Chelsea v Kwame or Alex Kwame or I was like girl <laughs> what the hell is going on with your theories like he don't yeah. like his name I was like what's his name Uh-oh. it's kind of like with he- SK I'm like mm-hmm. so when they said his name I'm like why y'all I'm like that name is so difficult to say you got SK it's and not, AG and AK 47 and y'all I'm like what the hell I'm sure they're they're harboring some stuff from like elementary middle school right. where kids made fun of their name <laughs> but it's 2023 we're grown and if somebody is if another grown adult is going to make fun of your name they have no business being in they're not company. grown adults they have no they're business not being in their company they're not so you're losing out on nothing At, right so we went from <laughs> Chelsea V. Kwame and Micah let's go to the other side with Micah <laughs> Paul and Zach. I didn't realize we had that love triangle here. Weird. It was like, okay. So when Micah did the, I'm going to let Paul answer. I was like, Mm -hmm. I felt like that was like, at first I thought it was manipulative, but then I was like, you know what? That was actually a good, good on her part because I don't, she she knew what was up. She and had to. Because if you were so up. sure, she would have just said it. But she I was really, like, but she uh, really did want to marry him. She did. So I, she was like, I'm not going to embarrass myself by saying I do first, and then you say I can't. But yeah. I don't. Yeah. So I am fully in support of her doing that. I thought it was like because what she did, I was like, yeah, because you don't want to say. Yes, I do, because you mm-hmm. knew he was going to say no. Right. You knew he was. Cause because the thing about it is like before that, I'm like, I didn't give no itch to like he's really like second guessing this. And it wasn't till literally the mm-hmm. finale. I'm like, wait a minute, mm-hmm. you're second guessing this now? Mm-hmm. It's like, what? Did but y'all also, edit that this out? Is, this is why he gives me serial killer vibes. Like, you can't you just never know, like. It was what's, so weird to me. I'm like, like huh? what's going to come next with him? Because he gives you no clues. Because it was the way that he was, Micah was talking. So the thing about it is, it's like, Micah, I can understand why you're like, girl, I know I want to marry this man, but I don't think he wants me. Mm-hmm. And I guess it was like, you know, show me that you want to be with me. He doesn't. Mm-hmm. I think it's very interesting. Micah, ma'am, please stop acting like you really wanted to spend the rest of your life with this man. You just did not want to be embarrassed at the altar. I need you to be that Mm. honest. You did not see a complete future with Paul and quiet is kept. You didn't see it with Kwame's ass either. Let's be very, very clear. I absolutely believe she still, if Paul had said, I do, she would have said, I do. I think she would have too. Yeah. Which is so hilarious to me. It's like y'all have been out in probably like 18 months, but that's not the point. You know, like I guess we're not talking about that part. But we're just like, girl, you really didn't want to be with Paul and you because you're like, look, I he's gonna have to be the one to say no. Cause mm-hmm. I, I'm not you ain't gonna make me look all crazy. I mean, you still ran crying from the altar as you mm-hmm. should. Um, but the thing about it is it's like Micah, I feel like you're not totally wrong, but you're not totally right either. Because I have a yeah. feeling that you really, when he was like, how are we going to merge our um, lives? You're like, I'm not moving from Arizona. It's like, right. okay, yeah. so. There was like, there was always that. It's like, huh. That undertow of this isn't going to work out between them. Because the whole time I'm like, so why did you choose <laughs> Paul? Exactly. It makes but- no sense to me. I'm like, 
sometimes I'm like, did you just pick him because he's white? Because that's literally how this is coming off. To it's because I I don't see the redeeming qualities. It and maybe it's editing. I don't know, but I yeah. don't get it. I I don't get it either. I'm like, it don't seem like y'all are really all that compatible. Y'all didn't see compatible in the pods either. Mm -hmm. You don't see pod compatible in Mexico and like you not merging your lives together right before the and wedding. Then, and I'm like, right. Uh, and then her her friends. Ooh. Her, her child, I was like, obviously y'all don't know what but like I don't think I have any friends that would ever do that. Ever. Ever. It's like, oh no, and, this is not and, going to work. I feel like some there's I think it was like in, in Reddit or something. Like people are like Shelby is jealous of Paul because she wants to be in Paul's place. And it was very much giving I have a crush on my best friend vibes. I just yeah, it's it's so mm -hmm. weird to watch because I was like because she they were going hard. And like there, there's a way to be like, you know, a little bit standoffish and like, you know, testing the waters to see how you like your your friends guy and, yeah. and you know if they're compatible or not. But they were just going all they were out. Going very much like he is so yes. not her type. It, it will never work. It, I'm like, what? They were giving full Jersey Shore. It was. It was like, mm. what in the hell is wrong? And I was like, what now that I, do you think Shelby was right? Yeah. Um, this is not what we should be focusing on because Shelby's oh, but, a raggedy bitch. And Shelby would have said that to anybody Mike had brought to her. It, I feel like she would have said the same because, thing like, about Kwame and it been more problematic. Because like they met for a, a, a little while at a bar when they were drunk so how does how could Shelby know like she couldn't even have a coherent conversation with the man it, sh it didn't seem like you were talking to him it seemed like she was just sitting in judgment of him exactly you didn't like you like so, look at him like nope that ain't gonna work like this this whole what? Shelby thing like uh uh like, <laughs> like oh like the thing about it is is like Shelby is her mirror I'm like, yeah, Micah, yep. you're friends with this girl for so are, long because y'all are so uh, alike. Yeah, it's the mean, like, it's that stuck in high school mean girl shit. And I think that's probably why her and Arena got along, got along so well because so well, mm -hmm. I feel like Arena and Shelby age. would literally be besties. Oh, yeah. It's like, girl. They, it's would, like, eat, they would be frenemies. Oh, absolutely. They'd be competing mm -hmm. for the same dick like, mm -hmm. at, like every fortnight. But still, mm -hmm. we're like, girl, you want to go get some tacos? Get, yep, be at brunch every Sunday. So the fact that Zach kind of did not let the chopper spray on Arena, but he mm -hmm. damn sure did it on Micah was like hilarious. Because the <laughs> thing about it is, I was like, Paul, I get it. He was just like, he was like, water off a duck's back. Water, don't say anything. And they're like, what y'all over there wishing about? Shut up, Vanessa. Mind your business. Like... Mind your business, Vanessa. Vanessa. Shut like, up. Vanessa kept harping on Paul, and it was just like he's going to give you the same answer, no he's matter give you how you how you like phrase it. He's going to give you the he's same. He's going answer. to say the exact Move same thing. The fuck on, please. He doesn't like. He did not see a future with her. I feel like that's like, why y'all ask the question for right. a reason, and he, like. like you already got out that he said like he couldn't see her being mother and everybody was like, oh my God. That you woman didn't even want to move to the same state he live in. Like, girl, like, what? Come on. It's like, he did, she didn't even want to move to, please. she was like not willing to budge on that. Like, be fucking for real. It's like, please, at least for part of the day. So the fact that Zach was just like, this is not cool that you're trying to paint my friend as that this is totally his fault because he said mm -hmm. no. And it's like, yeah, it's not mm -hmm. totally his fault. He is the one that said no. You're going to be this thing. If you like uh, get to the altar and you say no, you are the asshole by default. However, comma, Paul, I don't blame you. Right. <laughs> it's like I'll blame you saying no. Cause it's like that means like Shelby's gonna be that, like, I don't got time to be trying to be nice to this bitch. <laughs> And like I can understand 
waiting till you get to the altar because it's like that weird sunken cost fallacy type yeah. of situation yeah so like I, I we spent all this time in the pods getting to know each other this has to work right kind of situation but then like when the rubber meets the road and it's about time to sign those papers it's like Ugh. yeah no I, I I tried my best I can't do it yeah, because it was just kind of like, it just really just came out of nowhere that he was just not sure. Mm-hmm. And it's like, if you need a friend, get you a, get you a Zach. He's like, uh-uh, yes. you are not going to play in my friend's face. You're not going to mm-hmm. play in my friend's face. No, it is not just him. And I think she wanted to come there. It's like, y'all going to see he's a terrible person and he should have never left me at the altar. Well, I, I mean, I, I kind of understand why he did. It's like, but yeah. no, it's like, it's going to be shitty. He is default, yeah. the asshole for doing that. Mm-hmm. He really I, is. It's like, I, I get it, but it's you like, you have all of my sympathy and empathy for being left at the altar. Because I'm sure that that feels like absolute trash. Correct. However, mm-hmm. it's better to be, you know, left at the altar than stuck then have in it, like stuck a in a marriage, marriage. And then you got a girl, you got to go down to the courthouse. How many mm-hmm. fees have you just dodged, honey? Exactly. Listen, I you don't need no a divorce attorneys or nothing. Nothing. Saved y'all money. And now I'm like, oh man, he could have been with that other girl that I don't even know if he really was compatible with. It's just kind of <laughs> like, I don't, like y'all don't, Paul and Michael don't make sense. Chelsea and Kwame don't make sense. It's like, y'all do mm-hmm. not make sense to me in any part. The to only, be honest, like, Zach and Bliss don't make sense to me either, I mean, but they look very sure. happy. So, but also, it seemed like, yeah. So let's, yeah, Zach and Bliss, let's go here because they look like they make each other. Bliss, like, they actually they seem more compatible, but on paper they don't like. What? Yeah, it it it's on paper they look completely compatible, but then you see them and like, yeah, right, and right, and, and I feel like Bliss is too cool. <laughs> yeah but see that thing i feel like she is literally a dormant <laughs> volcano because i feel like if arena had said something that she didn't like she'd have cussed Ooh. her ass clean the fuck out because like, i'm like i seen your was, mama i, I was like, like bliss oh. seems like the type of person who she kind of lets things slide but Until she's she keeping she's it. keeping that list in her mm-hmm. mind she's got like and, and that last time She's running down that list of all the little things she's you've said, all the jabs you've taken, and mm-hmm. she is going to let you have. Because she is she like, I'm cool with this until I'm not cool, mm-hmm. and then you better leave me the fuck mm-hmm. alone. Cause mm-hmm. um she's like, I let you off with a warning. I let you off with a warning. I got the man. <laughs> I'm like, girl, I, I guess. <laughs> it's like I, yeah, I, oh, okay. You got the prize, <laughs> I guess. So mm-hmm. yeah, so arena. Um, oh, so I said two two women should have been cussing people out. Micah, mm-hmm. you had a whole life for Paul. You ain't had shit for Arena. Mm. And she's supposed to be your and goddamn she, friend. Your friend. And it's she like, over flirting with your fiance. Like, um, yeah, I mean, we talked about it. You are so flippant about that. That is so mm-hmm. wild to me. I, it's like, huh? It's like, mm-hmm. and I, but y'all were like mean girls and and don't mean girls. I mean, we got girl codes, but don't mean girls got girl code too? Because right? I feel like y'all, uh, you, you should have like, you shouldn't be too cool on her. I mean, granted, I'm not a mean girl, so I don't really know how that works. Right. But know. off the strength of being territorial, mm-hmm. <laughs> what the fuck? Right. It's like, I be like <laughs> looking at you, bro. I'm like, I get it. Y'all in the pods and y'all all dating the same people, but it should not even. Like Nobody once we get past the about proposal that. part, yeah, it's like yeah, they're it's like, off limits. It's a done deal. So I know you saw her um apology from her mm. Instagrams, Ciao. where she was like, "I'm sorry, I'm not like that." And then a few sentences later, said, "This show is my mirror." I'm like, so I feel like you don't understand you, what a mirror what is. mirror is. It's like so that or means that you is were you. just lying and forgot by the second paragraph. I don't. Yeah, it was like, huh? And then you can't. When I tell you, when she started tearing up and you heard laughter, I said, "Yes, hey, see, now we can't have no more audience." The people they like knew. Listen, that the audience was not here. They like they her like we are not tears. here for this. Both I'm like, girl, like, this bitch is lying. And, um, I, Cheska Lee did uh like a little recap of like how all of this 
like the whole reunion sucked from a TV writer and producer standpoint. Mm. And she was like, if anything, Irina should have been the one that did the pre-recorded little snippet mm -hmm. and and Jackie and Josh should have been zoomed in live. Correct. Like they do for um 90 Day Fiance. <laughs> Hello. They could do they do it for the housewives. Like y'all could have zoomed somebody Zoom. in, bitch. Y'all could have zoomed them in. Y'all I'm like, wait it's a minute. Like a death threat coming through Zoom now? Girl, they gonna girl, stab fuck you. you like, get, I, get your ass on this screen. <laughs> get your ass on this screen. Y'all just didn't want to have to face any hard questions. Right. I and mean, even it's even like y'all come y'all sitting with the laches. They ain't, they ain't gonna be no hard I was questions. Like, and this is why they need a new host, mm -hmm. and they need a new format for the. It can't just be like questions that the host has. Like, yeah. get some questions from Twitter, get some questions from TikTok and Instagram. Mm -hmm. Really, like that's it. Can I volunteer Tamron Hall so people got? Oh, she's so mean to him, but she getting the yes. answers y'all want. Like even Andy could have done better. Hello, and that's bad. And where I'm like, where is favorites? Andy Cohen? <laughs> where is Andy Cohen? Because like, girl, well, this was just like uh, Nick and Vanessa is trying to have. We have so many questions. Have a ponderosa. <laughs> it's like we got so many questions. Do you now? They was having a ponderosa. They was it's on like, the y'all yeah it was like this what was were y'all talking about in that house like, about not having babies what were y'all in like, there talking about y'all could have just invited them to your house and, and had cocktails and some like you know a charcuterie board come on and, and done it that and, and had no cameras because that's the, that's the energy it gave me it gave nothing it's like girl who who and asked like, for this and it was not like i'm expecting like people to get up and start boxing no. but there mm -hmm. was questions that needed to be answered and people that needed to be told that they were uh somebody need, need to be told that because arena what you're not going to do is go like oh I, and I apologize probably to all those people really which and then, people to have Bartis girl don't you really care about him and that baby what <laughs> it's like why you the fuck is he on my you? screen? Y'all really trying to make it seem like that fuck boy is a... It. It's like, y'all fucking tried it with Bartiz. I'm like, so first of we all... We don't like him last We don't season. like him, girl. We don't like him now. Having a baby don't make you likable. He's like, well, you're going to have a baby like me. You mean, listen here. Listen here, and wheelchair now, Jimmy. I feel bad for his baby mama because she didn't ask for any of this. Ain't asked for none of this. And that poor like, woman is being ripped to shreds and she ain't done not nothing right. but birth a baby. Mm. Imagine. I'm like, why? I'm, it's not our fault that you look like you visiting your child because, you know, your child ain't in your life for real. Mm. I'm like, like oh, it's, it's not I my fault like, the ba uh, baby just looked like he met you. I'm like, the thing about it is, I'm like, it's giving like supervised visitation, but go right? on, sis. I'm like, uh, uh, -uh. It's uh, -uh. very much like this was unnecessary. I'm like, why am I looking at Bartiz on my screen? Like, why are we bring? If you're going to bring back anybody from a previous season, be it a let it be a married couple. Hello. Like, why on. do we want? Nobody wants to see Bartiz. Nobody. We do not want this. He is not the. He is not the cameo that you thought he was. Okay. Was everybody was like, else busy or something? I mean, please. It's like, why are we? Why am I looking at Bartiz? Who asked for this? Like, what is the point of bringing on Send it back someone to the kitchen. who did not get married, who was problematic as fuck, mm -hmm. who hasn't done anything but be on another Netflix dating show? Like, how does that fit into what we're doing right now? It does not. It's like, short answer, it doesn't. It's like, girl. So, I want to know... The fact that, so, let me get more <clears throat> together. When Zach was like, the only receipts that I have are the ones that's on my story. I'm like, what the hell is he talking about? Because I think he I also see. brought out mental health. And I was like, why would he? And then I looked at the um, the the receipts he brought up. He brought up, it basically was just talking about his mother who had has real mental health issues. Mm -hmm. So instead of you going, you are a raggedy bitch for trying to like hide behind you being an asshole and a mean girl with mental health when my mother actually has real issues 
Mm. I was like, I was like, why would he? Oh, because he's basically saying, "Bitch, fuck you, mm. girl, fuck you." You know, gonna say like mental find... health. Okay, okay, that was the receipt because I didn't, I wasn't I was, able to. Like, find... he said, I said receipt. I'm like, what the hell is he? Mm. Oh, and I mean, it is mm. a lot to read because it's like his mama put them through it. She had her oh. own stuff. It was like she was destroying shit. So I'm oh. like, girl. You're not going to hear talk about mental health, and it's like, like I, I, I'm not even going to waste I any time hate on you. That when people who are in the public eye mm-hmm. rightfully get dragged, mm-hmm. they want to bring up mental health, and I was, it's very much like I get it. Being dragged on the internet is not a good feeling. Mm-hmm. Yes, it will. It will give you anxiety. It will make you depressed. It, mm-hmm. it will do all these things. Mm-hmm. But also, you are barking up the wrong tree for sympathy. It was like, what did you want them to do? Because what ma'am- do you expect when you are not just being edited and portrayed as a mean girl, you are actually a mean girl. You are actually not a likable person. You are actually doing things that harm other people's mental health. But you don't, like, you want to sniffle. It's like, that's why they were like, cry me a river. Cry me a river. It's like, uh uh-uh. Give me a glass. I will drink your tears, bitch. Um, it's like you y'all came on this show to find love, but you made it your mission to also try and sabotage other people. Because the fact that Zach said you and only came on this show to be famous. famous. I was like, oh, and she mm-hmm. she really you don't have a good rebuttal. You, that's the thing. It's like none. what? It's like I can't really say anything because I mean, he's folks not lying. have been making a very good point about they probably need to either fully lean into the ridiculousness or mm-hmm. cut love is blind off now because uh what was it the first one or two seasons mm-hmm. people didn't like it hadn't aired yet so people didn't know yeah the premise but now people are going on, on looking to make a scene looking to yeah. be the the next uh big villain or or whatever right. so it's getting it's getting weird. Yeah. It's getting very weird. I mean, shake so is not a unicorn. Lean, well, that's why you mm-hmm. get a shake. Right. So you either lean into it fully and get it scripted poorly, acting mm-hmm. like um, Love and Hip Hop or, or F Boy Island. They, I swear they leaned into oh, a lot of shit yes. on F Boy Island. And yes, I love that did. show. I'm like, oh, they leaned into all of this the to make this shit funny. Yes. So. If you're not because they're not that, taking it se- they they know not. it's not serious if they're not taking it seriously the people on it are you know mm-hmm. aspiring actors or whatever yeah it's like you can tell it's like oh okay but so, yeah yeah the fact that it's kind of like zach was getting little jabs here and there he got mm-hmm. jabs in with arena he got jabs mm-hmm. in with micah i'm like why do i feel like you could have hosted this reunion Mm. Listen, Zach was not here. He was not here for the shenanigans. Shits. He was not here for the shenanigans. He was like, like, I have I no time for shenanigans. For the... What is is he a lawyer? Hmm. I think he, he is. Is. That explains it. You can tell. It's like <laughs> he's good with his words. You can tell. He's like, excuse he's me. He hate he literally he's typed up his opening statement. Him, his friends, or anything mm. that happened. <laughs> And the thing about it is, like, Bliss, I get it. You're like, you're like, I'm going off a duck's back. I fly above all the haters. Mm-hmm. I would have came off my perch and cussed her out. Mm-hmm. Like, you have worried. Because, one, it wasn't just towards one person. So that's and the other thing. What? And that's why I was like, <laughs> Bliss, run, literally lay her ass out. It wasn't just her. And, you know, I, now that I'm thinking about it, I can see where Bliss and Zach are compatible in when it comes to um, conflict. Mm-hmm. Um, because Zach is very much like once it, he he reached his boiling point on the reunion, and that's why mm-hmm. he was like, but he's not gonna cuss anybody out. He's going to Mm-mm. give you the the facts, and this is how it is. And I'm not going to stand You're raggedy, for- and I hate you, and I'm so glad. It was yeah. like, 
I can see. And you know he did, like, I feel like he he really amped it up a little bit on Irina's behalf because he didn't want her to get in the mud. Yeah. So, I, okay, I, I'm seeing it for them now that I'm thinking about right? it. Right? Okay. It's not like you go, I'm like, I'm like, y'all both handle this way. And I'm like, y'all should have cussed that bitch I out. Feel like me, I feel like the thing that, that really lets me know that certain couples will be all right is when the man kind of stands up mm -hmm. for his wife in, yeah. in, in certain like and not just against other people but just like in general yeah like thinking back to brett and tiffany when tiffany was so stressed out about wedding planning and brett was just there to comfort her not make it about himself mm -hmm. not try to change um, her mind about what was going on, right. not validating her. Like he mm -hmm. was just being, he was just a solid. Um, it's just being a know, solid guy. And I'm like, yeah. thank you. Sometimes yeah. like, I don't, nigga, I don't need you to fix it. I mm -hmm. just need you to be a soundboard for my venting. That's it. Mm -hmm. it I, I can see Zach being that for Irina as well. Yeah. Because it's like, it's like, I mean, not Irina, she, sorry, Bliss. Woo! Bliss, I know, Freudian right, child. Slip, my goodness. Because the thing about it is, it's like, <laughs> they had good questions about, mm -hmm. so if you weren't attracted to him, the minute you saw him, why would you go through all of this? Thank you. It's like, why would you do all this? You could have been like, I don't think this is going to work. And the and fact then, that they were like sitting there brushing their teeth, talking about, oh, I thought about, I knew it wasn't going to work on this day. I thought it was going to work on this day. I'm like, mm -hmm. girl, what the hell? Why are you wasting all these people's like, time? It's bad enough that you, it was pretty apparent you didn't find him attractive. But then you go and like do these like little insulting, making these insulting comments. Like, the fuck is wrong with you? The, th the thing that got me, she's like, you look like a cartoon character. Which one? And then and she didn't have an answer. I'm like, answer. girl, what the hell are you talking like, about then? Like, it, it was very... Uh, I was like, then what are you, girl, what are you talking like, about? You don't you even have, have an answer. This, and, and you have all of this mean girl energy, like, you know, say it with your chest with the other women. Mm -hmm. But now it's like, mm, it, it's that low key nasty. It's, yeah. It's not even nice nasty. It's just nasty, but very in a soft voice. Yeah. It's like, girl, it's like, okay, we don't care, girl. You do whatever the hell you want to do. And they're just like, girl, I don't even see you. Mind you, y'all all live in the same city. So it's not <laughs> like, it's like, y'all might see them. Who knows? But it's kind of like, girl, we don't care. It's like, mm -hmm. we, we don't care. So like, and I, I, I feel like it's probably akin to say something like New York where mm -hmm. it's a big city but mm -hmm. they're so segregated in terms of uh, yeah um groups and how what people are affiliated with True. what people what people's hobbies are like you're not gonna find too many people that spend most of their days say like in soho i don't know True. in the bronx no. yeah or something like that so maybe like maybe y'all got burrows where it's yeah, like, yeah, I'm always in the like Bronx that. and you always in Brooklyn. So yeah. uh, I ain't gonna see you. Or like this person <clears throat> only goes to high end vegan coffee shops or something, and the other one is always right. at a barbecue spot. You know, yeah. Simple shit no, like that. That makes sense. Um, before we lay into the last little Brit, let's talk about somebody fun. Let's talk about Brett and Tiffany, how li literally they're least problematic. They're like, they ain't really talk. I'm like, because there wasn't no real drama with them. Right. Like every, they just, they were just happy to be together, and the, to be there. Like, to, <laughs> and you know what? I love it. I, I love, love it. So unproblematic. Being unproblematic, healthy black love Hello. on television. Cause y'all tried to set us up with them damn that whole thing. Yes. This, oh, they, so we just right, and this didn't happen. I'm like, girl, what? No, no. Oh, it's about pants. Pants. Listen, girl. Brett is my people. Child. He is extremely particular, like myself. Mm -hmm. He is very meticulous in how he orders his home, like okay. myself. <laughs> mm -hmm. When I tell you, was when funny. His pants didn't fit. He was like, oh, the way hell he no. wanted them to fit, I felt that in my spirit. Honey, you are not like, going to have me on my day. On my day. I'm queen. marrying my queen. I'm looking 
snatched. Okay, I am not gonna look a hot mess. I met you. See this beautiful black woman I'm marrying, and they're like, "Oh man, that ain't no problem." He's like, "No, it is a fucking it's problem. Problem. <laughs> it's a fucking problem. No, I ain't doing this. I gotta look good." Listen, and it was just like I would prefer <sighs> him to get that upset over pants over anything else. He was cool as a cucumber for everything, everything else. else. That's why I was like, "Wait a minute, what is happening?" Brett seems so. Not laid back, but very much mm-hmm. like it's all going to work out. Mm-hmm. It's all going to work out. Have Maybe that energy this. for your clothing and not for life. I love Hello. it. I love it. I love it. Not a problem, Mac mm-hmm. King. I it's like I love. I'm not, go- I'm not even going to go that far because I don't know these people like that. Right. But from what I see, but from like- what I've seen, so I'll say that <laughs> from what we saw, yes. I love. Like it was very unproblematic, and they did give and me I Cameron love- and Lawrence. Like yes. tease, it was. They I didn't have a whole dynamic. bunch of drama with them either. It's like, mm-hmm. and I feel like they have this very. It, it's a very when you look at them, mm-hmm. they look peaceful. Like right. they they bring a peaceful energy to wherever they are, and they just fit. You look at them like you mm-hmm. feel like y'all didn't. Did y'all really just meet? Because I feel right? like y'all didn't just meet. Yeah. They were too cute. I love them. I was like, oh my God, I love them. And then I like, love their love. We didn't really see them talking. I'm like, because, well, um, the drama's well, not with them. Exactly. And I'm happy about that. I am so glad, like, Netflix had to manufacture um, suspense for them. Right. As opposed to their actually, actually being, being drama. suspense. Because I yeah. was like, let me tell you something. If something is going on here, I'm not mm-hmm. going to like this. So y'all better not be trying to set me up to get mm-hmm. my heart broken. Okay. Well, one thing I know is a couple months from now, I better not hear nothing come out about nobody's secret nope. traveling buddy. <laughs> and I better like, not. I, this better not be another SK and Raven situation. I know it that better much. not. It's like, let me tell you something. I'll burn it all if down. I have to I'll get on a buddy pass down. and get up to Washington State, don't test me. Listen, I can't take it no more. I can't. No, I, lo- I love it. I love like a more sure because I think they're both over 35. So I think that's mm-hmm. the other part of that. Yes. They're a little bit older. They're but not that like also you hold. also makes sense to why they are so up. <laughs> right. They're like, girl, like, over 35. We have been through the dating pool. Pool-cha. There is piss in the water. We're good. <laughs> we are so good, honey. It's like, no, we're not doing that. So I, it's like, they are the palate cleanser that we need. Because mm-hmm. I'm like, they're just like, girl, we just have a good time. We are getting married. The only mm-hmm. drama in our life on this show is pants. Exactly. It's like, that's it. I was like, wait, you kind of, kind of close. Okay, he made it on time, girl. We, mm-hmm. we, we good, we good. So, yeah. So, <laughs> the final, <laughs> the I almost say the main event, because <clears throat> it's not main. But Marshall <laughs> v. Jacqueline v. <laughs> Josh. So, very, <laughs> so, I have said this, and I said it on Zell's show, where the fact that Jacqueline was put at Jacqueline or Jacqueline or Jackie girl. I don't know what her name is. Who cares? Um, was like put out this. She put out this statement about like she's like it's the editing and made it seem like this. And I was like, well, and I don't think I do not think what I said was nasty. I don't think what I said is nasty at all. Mm-hmm. Him, hold please, because I'm like, look here, I feel like I gotta defend my honor, because I'm like, what you won't do is hop into my fucking DMs to tell me something. I'm like, girl, give a damn. No. It was like, bitch, what? I was like, oh, hell no. Girl. Are you effing kid? I'm like, why, wait, why are we here? Wait, and this why are we here? You know, she knows she was wrong as fuck. This because like, she wouldn't be, she wouldn't be trying to argue with any time Dick and Harry on the internet. Well, about it apparently she was hopping on everybody so she put up this so thing she knew she know she know right i was like girl so she put on her um her instagrams i have <laughs> seen the latest episodes that have premiered on love is blind and i must speak the truth marshall and i were broken up before i saw josh at the coffee shop i am wearing different clothes my hair is styled different and at the end of the video i say i don't know if i'm going to be with Josh. I am not sure what the reason is for playing the coffee shop date before the bridal, before the breakup 
but to restate, Marshall and I were broken up before Josh and I had our coffee shop date. As for the ring, Marshall did not pay for the ring. Love is Blind paid for the rings. Girl, I watched The Bachelor. We we all know this shit. I'm I like, do girl, was like, I don't care who we don't paid care, for the ring. You deep. It'd be one thing if, um, you know, Marshall reneged on his proposal. Right. I get keeping the ring then. Right. But if you are the one to initiate the end of, of your fiance ship, you yeah. give the ring back. Just give the ring back. So this is what I posted. I reposted her stuff, and this is what I said. So, so that, 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 why didn't you show up for the dress fitting? And why did everyone, including Marshall, expect you there? Mm -hmm. I was like, now that is what I said to her. And I said, I'm like, wait a minute. Cause that's not making sense. I'm like, girl, we've been watching reality. We know how editing fucking works. Did mm -hmm. you or did you not meet up with them? Cause I uh, could have sworn that lot in that living room when y'all were talking, she said, mm -hmm. I saw Josh could have swore she said mm -hmm. so was it really that different also with this whole editing thing they wouldn't have nothing to edit together if you didn't do all this shit did they give you a script to say like, did you give it scenes and scenes did they tell from you? jump you have kind of been sketch when it comes to Marshall. It really, it's like very much so, like, it seemed like y'all were so compatible and then y'all get to Mexico and shit ain't mm -hmm. sweet. It's like, so this is what she put in my DMs. And that's like, I'm not the only person. I'm like, I know other people. Um, she said to me, so I was like, why is, I'm like, what the hell? I was blocked to not go, to not go to the wedding dress fitting. I have messages, but Netflix is trying to hush me because I have all my receipts. Now, girl. I, I, honey, I have not answered her. And let me just tell you what. Girl, I don't care. What am I supposed to? Why are you telling me? Why are you telling me? <laughs> and the thing about it, it is, it other people, she has talked to people. I am not one of those. I'm not a, I'm like, I'm not a blogger by trade and I'm not trying to be messy. Mind you, I'm not saying this on my podcast, but let's be very clear. I'm not reading it some dastardly. I'm not adding any like sound bites and making it seem villainous i'm like she was like i feel like she was sitting there like i gotta clear my name why girl for what what why it, it, why but why would you care why? you did not care to hurt marshall's feelings so why you do you care what care. people care i'm like why are you doing this like no netflix told me not to like not to say anything so are they the then reason why, why you didn't you fucking show saying, up to the reunion but also like you've been saying all, you had you've been showing all these other receipts. Why mm -hmm. can't you show this? Does the NDA not apply to everything? I'm like, do you even have one? Because she said stuff and she deleted some of the mm -hmm. stuff. So it's kind of like, okay, hmm. Jackie. Because she realizes her receipts don't say what she thinks they say. It's not given what you think. Because she alluded to Marshall calling her because that's what she said. She said she he said called he called her, her a slur. slur. That is what she said, and it was just like, what the hell did he say to her? So then when they're talking about the conversation, and I was just like, well, you know, you got because he's like he you know explained you got it. Jaw. Okay. Like, I mean, you could have been born a man. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Wait, what? And I get why that is offensive. If I get I why. Get. I get it why it's wrong to say that but you amped it up to make it him sound make it sound like, like he being... called you every t he called you were saying it sound like he called you the t word and that's not what happened mm -mm. but you're also not like adding and on to the fact that you are you like you and your friends joked about him being sweet homophobic as fuck yeah and then was trying to say um he found your uh I can't, I don't remember, I don't know what STD that was used to treat, like, he found your medication and you said you started taking it because you were worried about your sexual health because you think he's bisexual or gay or something like that. Right. Like, Miss Mamas, Because when you he don't have a leg like, to stand on when it comes to the Something that'll stay in Seattle with that man that looks like a thumb and her dog. Mm -hmm. Because when Marshall was on, I think he said it on Nick Viles' podcast, he was just like, she was having a feminine problem. He never said she had an STD. So the fact that it was like, wait, 
what is happening? Like, it's not like she just literally had a yeast infection. Like, chat. Like, and I'm like, girl. okay. And, and this is why I really do not like her because she has me defending a man. Hello. Because I'm just like, it. Like the thing about it is if you are making the best decision for you when it comes to your heart and your mind, mm -hmm. you don't really have to do all this apologizing and have to, like, I got to defend also, my choice. No, the fuck you no, don't. The way, like she could have, you know, expressed that she was not compatible, her and Marshall were not, We're not compatible. compatible. She wasn't going to get, she did not want to get married to him without being cruel. Correct. She was cruel. Yeah. And that's where she's not getting it. Yeah. She she doesn't get it. And it's like the thing about it, we look at Josh, it was just like, Josh is like an asshole. But I think but, that's her level of toxic masculinity yes. that she can handle. She she needs a little toxic, like, she needs a little toxicity exactly. to her masculinity. She, she really does. Doesn't, she seems like one of those people that doesn't uh, um isn't comfortable in relationships that are peaceful. Yeah, she's like, I need, I need, I need something. To, I need the table shook a little bit. I'm like, and Marshall, be and, aggressive, like, be, aggr be aggressive. You and gotta, then like, if, you gotta speci specify. You need to be a little. Use this. all of your words because it's like, if, because do you mean sexually, or does do like you expect stand him up. to put your his hands on you or something when right. he, like, like what are when you you're asking? having these moments. Because, because the she thing was about it is, a lot of moments that she was having really a lot of moments, and he was very because it was like when she was crying. Mm -hmm. So he said it. Apparently, um, Jackie's dad had cancer. She mm -hmm. he was like, I she didn't say anything. I didn't know that's why she was so upset because mm -hmm. apparently her mom had reached out to production to try to talk to her and just mm -hmm. like to like have a conversation like as to let her know what things going to that. But mm -hmm. Marshall did not know that. And on one hand, it's like, well, and, you did just kind of meet her. But right, the other but thing is Marshall like, but you're also still, engaged. Marshall was still trying his best to hold space for her. Mm -hmm. Even though he had no clue what was going on. He had no clue. He's like, okay, I'm like, I don't, I'm up. Like, he's like, I'm going to give you your space. Apparently, before their breakup, he like left for like two days. He said mm -hmm. like, oh, okay. Well, I mean, that, that needs to happen. The thing about but it is, it's like, if girl. You, if, if you're with someone that refuses to like speak to you you or have or, or got to be up on you for asking very pertinent questions to the relationship like do you want to continue um yeah uh leaving for two three days why 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 would he want to stay in that environment so sidebar breaking news everyone uh -oh. frank ocean cancels second Coachella performance after oh, injuring yeah. leg. Yeah. I was like, ah. see that's yeah, the thing. That. After the first weekend, they're like, I don't know if he's gonna come back. But it seems like mm -hmm. he got injured up mm -hmm. in, the, in the week leading up to weekend one. Mm -hmm. I'm like, is that why he was late? Because it feels People like are very not... concerned about him right now. Um because yeah, I'm like wait he lost his brother. It, I'm like yeah Girl? it's like that's a so... lot I'm not completely up on all of the details, but people are very concerned. Yeah, As in, like, it's... They don't think it's just, like, diva yeah, artist I, behavior. Because when they said yeah. that he lost his brother, I was like, it's mm -hmm. gotta be something else. It's, it's gotta be mm -hmm. just something else. It can't just be that. Like, he just late being a diva. I'm like, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Because yeah. I'm like, I didn't know he was, never that was late. anything... Like, before. like that about him before we don't have a running total of frank has been late to this 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 this, yeah. this. i didn't know his set was late to people said oh he was supposed to come on at this time and then his mm -hmm. set was that time i was like oh this is, i think it was Issa ray and shannon on stories at 10 5 i'm like what's mm -hmm. wrong it's like i'm sorry is that not i'm like are you just excited i didn't know what that meant yeah. <laughs> it's like i didn't know if it was so, late so i don't yeah. know I'm like, but it's like, if he dealing with all of this and then he also was injured, I'm like, y'all, yeah, it's okay. Coachella. I, I I just hope he's okay. I'm yeah. very I think They were supposed to do a live the, stream for it and he had like, mixed no. it. It's like, well, yeah. I mean, if he's injured his leg, if he like a hot mess on stage, I ain't gonna watch my <laughs> But, you know, like, in the vein of so many, like, artists, you know, whether it be musical, actors, passing before what 
should be their time. Like, I feel like cutting people some slack is yeah the thing we should do and yeah. like understand they're human beings. They're not a product. <laughs> yeah, because after a while, it was just kind of like, girl, it is Coachella. I mean, I'm sorry. No one's going to be better than Beyonce. So, you know, mm. for me, it's Hello. like, y'all y'all have already touched Mount Olympus for me. So it's <laughs> like anybody else is like, you know, no Tino Shade is like, girl. But I hate that Sierra killed her fucking performance. I'm like, she's fucking Sierra. Can afford to go to Coachella. You can afford a separate concert ticket if you I'm really just want saying, to see like, Frank Ocean that badly. Like the thing that I've heard is like, um, Sierra was like super lit. They're like, oh, she can dance. I'm like, girl, that, that I heard, came um, in. She been dancing. Like, I'm not surprised by that. I'm like, okay. I heard Lotto was very, very good. Oh, was she? Oh, okay. yeah. And she brought out a lot of different um, other women artists. And I heard Labyrinth yeah. was good too. Hmm. And I was like. I kind of like Labyrinth. It's like, his music is very, I'm like, I don't even know how to like focus it in my head. Like, what is this music like? I just mm-hmm. like it. <laughs> I, I mean, it's like, who I'm needs kinda, labels when you I'm just like, like it. I'm like, what is it like? <laughs> Stuff that I like is very chill. I feel like I need to like, and I'm mm-hmm. not like, I'm sorry, I'm not someone who partakes a lot, but it's like, I feel like <laughs> I could be sitting, it could be pouring down rain, a nice thunderstorm, Put on some labyrinth and smoke some weed. That's 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 how I'm feeling. <laughs> Is that how we get Stephanie to smoke that, weed? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like just Noted. very chill, very relaxing. I don't know what I think. It's, that's his music is very relaxing and just it keeps you in a space of I could just watch this rain. I could sit by the and watch waves crash on the beach, listening to labyrinth. See how that works? Or maybe I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, I'm, I'm like be lucky day. Please pay your child support, sir. What be? Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Go um, back to Love is Blind. Blind. <laughs> Let's just go back to Love is Blind. Because when I tell you, after Homegirl leapfrogged into my DMs and God knows who else, she probably she was in the like comments. She responded she, to everybody. Would, um, reposted that that um she, reel. she probably like yeah. she really probably reposted it to she probably responded to everybody I'm like girl yeah. you do you if you feel like you need to see i'm not necessarily i'm always That's like very talking, unemployed uh, behavior though like girl yeah you you got time to this because i would not i'm like i'm sorry it would have probably blocked me but i yeah, also this was, did not this think that i did it any- what was it monday that, it was, it was monday? like like this very unemployed behavior, girl. It's like, ma'am. What, <laughs> I'm like, I didn't call you. A, I, I can see like hopping in my demons. I called you a raggedy bitch. I did not say that at all. And I'm like, like, if you like insult somebody for real, for real, I right. get it. Right, because I was like, but well, wait a minute. A very, I'm like, you're saying this. I'm like, but why is everybody expecting you to be there? You're like, oh, it's editing. I'm like, so the thing, like, I can give you a little bit of grace. A producer said. Hey, why don't you ask why Jackie not here? I could give. I'm like, girl, I could give you that space, but but I did you or did you not break up with Marshall and go start fucking Josh? Like, what we doing here? And like, how long after you broke up with Marshall was this? This she was like, it's, it wasn't the same so day. It was that day after, bitch. That do not girl. make you. Then why that didn't you just give it back the better. ring? It's like not giving him back the ring because he didn't buy it is stupid. Cause it's like, girl, cause we're so yeah. Vanessa, fuck you. You jumping down Marshall's thought about what he what? said. You jumping down on Paul, but you not saying anything to Jackie. Get the Burn, fuck out of here. Please. And I was like, why didn't you just give it back? It's like, mm-hmm. <laughs> it's cause I'm sitting here like, now wait a minute, hold up. Because my first question had been like, why did y'all not come to the reunion? Mm-hmm. That would have been my first question. I'm like, you had a whole lot to say. You went on this defense. You talking defense. about receipts. receipts. I'm, I'm going to get it together. Wait. You don't do that if you're not going to show up. Mm-hmm. Raggedy. It's raggedy. Why didn't you show up? Because that would have been my first question. Mm-hmm. And it, like, if you say, oh, I have COVID, I'm like, man, you could lie about that. But because people do, right? Uh, they get like, but also, well, I mean, I just why couldn't you have zoomed in live? You really could have. It's like you I didn't mean, I do get it. Netflix was having a lot of technical difficulties, and that shit probably would have exploded. But still, it should have been the option. 
it the should have been recorded like, shit was yeah that I, 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 I Marsha was this, making the faces when she was talking. I said, Woo, I, I need y'all to go to hell right now because that is funny. Yeah. Like, what but, uh, Marshall was me. He was like Marshall what? was me in the same. I swear he I was, was literally Candy Burris at a Real Housewives of Atlanta reunion. Yes. All the faces. It's like what? So the thing about this, Jackie, Josh, if y'all think y'all made the best decision for you, you don't have to defend it so much. Mm -hmm. Thou doth protesteth way too much. much. But you know that even though you two were the best decision for each other, y'all went about it in some really... It was poor execution. It it was in... First, Josh come over there talking about Mr. Steal Your Girl Mm -hmm. and drunk and shit at that... uh, what was it? Somebody's birthday party? Or I think it was, like was it Chelsea's birthday. Something like that. Yeah. But and then you know when Marshall confronts Jack Jackie about it, she wants to act all like she's like mad at Marshall for mm-hmm. noticing that she don't want to be with him. Like, yeah. It's like, girl, girl what are you talking about. So, and this is why I kind of I don't know. I cannot believe I'm getting flowers to Nick Vile. So <laughs> he asked a question. He was like, because you know, when like when they're in a the pod, it's like, no, it's like he looked like he was about to beat Josh's ass. Mm-hmm. And then at the um party, it was like, wow, you have this energy. He's like, because the camera didn't really show that me and Josh actually were friends. Mm-hmm. And it was like, okay, so that makes a little bit more sense. Because mm-hmm. he because Marshall also said, Josh said that to Jackie, but he also said that to somebody else in the pod too. And it was like, He's like, wait a minute, why are you saying that all the women you're talking to and the woman that I choose? I'm like, don't say it to the woman that I want to be with. Say mm-hmm. it to the other women. Like, not, not that he should, but it's kind of like, you go, know, okay, so then that makes a little bit more sense because I yeah. think when it comes to the men, even Kwame to a certain extent, because, okay, um, it seemed like they had like this like really good friendship thing that they were yes. building. And I, I think, agree. yeah, so it's like, you see like Brett and Marshall, I'm like, that's right. Brett and his boyfriend, Marshall. <laughs> I'm like, they boys and they friends. Prince. And that's my boyfriend. And you don't mess with my boyfriend. Words. Like, I, you, don't, you, don't, you don't do it. He's like, wait, what? He's like, yeah. I'll tell you, camera cracks me up. He's like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> like, that's your, don't act like you ain't on his boyfriend. It's okay. You a boy and he, you're a boy and you his friend. Y'all boyfriends. Like, we, we what we doing? So I think him and Josh also, but I think one, Josh is fake. And I think he was faking mm-hmm. because this was a game. I'm like, I yes. think he does have feelings for Jackie. I think Jackie definitely like has feelings, but I feel like to a certain extent, because I mean, now there are stories coming out about the emotional trauma that contestants are going through. Ooh. Some of these relationships seem like trauma bonds. And I, I feel mean, like they trauma bond. you're bonded. basically kidnapped. You can't talk to nobody, and, and you got to spend hours on, on there. And it's like, oh, yeah. I can see. I'm like, I, I, I better pick somebody. Can see how that would happen. I mean, you know, it's like, and like, I want to say it's in the contract that they can't leave early, or they will have to I, pay. I think that is. I think I heard that. Yes, I believe that's in the contract. So it's like, like, they can't, it's like, like I gotta be here. Uh, unless it's like some medical emergency type of situation, mm-hmm. you can't just like you can't just get up and leave. leave. Yeah. Oh my gosh, girl, that is what. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The thing about it is, Jackie, if you want to hop in DMs and respond and put all these nice little receipts out, because then after the reunion, she was trying to do damage control. I'm like, girl, mm-hmm. I, the damage is done because the you, damage is done, and you look it, like whack you have as hell. Been, an unrepentant you're bitch. a fuck girl like you and that fuck boy there, y'all gonna be fucking were, and y'all been together and y'all got a dog there were so many ways you could have gone about it that mm-hmm. were not so ugly but you chose the ugly route to to go about you it. literally could have gave then, him the samantha i love you but i love me more that is not what you gave marshall you mm-hmm. were mean just mean yes just say like, you don't I don't want to be I'm like you know what I don't mm-hmm. think this is going to work and I think that we are just not compatible but that's mm-hmm. not you didn't go into that like you actually had feelings for Marshall so you can't yeah. blame editing on what the fuck you said to him mm-hmm. you can blame editing for what 
order they put that in, but that's why they yeah. got the gold goblets because it's like we don't want y'all seeing condensation in glasses and how much glass, how much mm. liquid is actually in glass. I'm like, okay, no. that kind of makes sense. Okay, yeah. but because I control editing, but Jackie, you still said what you said to this man, and for him to get on Nick Bow's podcast and say, "Can y'all just stop being mean to Jackie? Y'all ain't got to tell like ten of death threats." I'm like, he shouldn't have to do that because one, you dumped him, and he should look like literally. I'm sorry, Micah. He's the one who really should have the biggest problem. And it's he's not. Anything. He's like, I, I'm like, I'm looking at the opposite of this. It's like, it's going to look really Typically, weird if I'm doing this. It is like, all things considered, if he had said nothing in her mm-hmm. defense, that would have still been more than I would have expected of him. Correct. He'd be like, I don't even want to talk. I'm like, she's not here. So, he's, so when he said, they're not here to defend themselves, I'm like, mm. So that's the thing. This is why, Marshall, you don't have to yell from the rooftops, you know, high above the plains that you're a nice guy. You're demonstrating that. We can see that because you're saying, you know, be, you know, don't beat Jackie up. And I don't want to talk too much because they're not here. I'm like, that's something that nice people do. Yeah. You ain't have to tell us that because I'm like, you're being very magnanimous and you didn't you don't really have to. Have to. Yeah, you could have like um, one. You could have let them have it. Then the thing about it is, is that here's the other thing. But also, Jackie was I bringing in like, other girls with her. She's like, and I talked to mm-hmm. my name. I talked to Tiffany. Bitch, yeah, not bring me up into your fuck shit. I think with the magnanimous thing, I feel like Marshall has just moved on. Like, yeah, because he's like, what's I, the point? I, with with the energy that Jackie still has, I don't mm-hmm. think she has. Yeah, yeah, because it's like what's like what's the point it's kind of like we're at a reunion so we have to talk about it but he literally is just like this was literally last year so i guess that makes me think like understand again now looking at it bliss and zach it makes me understand them Mm -hmm. a little bit more too it's like girl this was last year and we are happy Mm -hmm. i am not going to keep doing this because one is like he could sit here and say they ain't shit but hey hi the audience is on Marshall's side when it comes to that, so he doesn't have to say anything. Mm-hmm. Like, I say nothing. Y'all see it? Yeah. Because it's like, girl, it is kind of raggedy. And it's like, also, so why didn't you just pick Josh? Because it's very manipulative I to say, like, if you don't pick me, I'm going to pack up my shit and go. It's like... I think she didn't pick Josh because she... Josh is what she was used to. Mm. And I feel like how Marshall snapped and said she was a project for him. Yeah. I feel like he was an experiment for her to see yeah. what a relationship with someone who was like even keeled, emotionally intelligent mm-hmm. would be like. Mm-hmm. And when she got it, she got into it, she found out that's not for her. Yeah, and the thing about she could have just said of, that. Yeah, but instead of just saying that, being an adult and saying that, she mm-hmm. went about it in the most passive aggressive way. Yeah. Yeah. Cause it's kind of like if you are like, I don't want to be with I don't like, I don't think we're compatible because I don't want to be with no man who thinks I'm a project. Girl, mm-hmm. I didn't respect you. Cause I'm like, yes. Yeah, no, I could see why you have it. I'm mm-hmm. like, wait a minute, I can't be in a relationship with someone who always wants to like I, I gotta be here because I gotta fix you. You ain't gotta mm-hmm. fix me shit. See right. how that works as opposed to you not a man and you not aggressive enough Aggressive and we enough. don't have sex, bro. I'm like, well, have fun. You got a yeast infection. What you want me to do? I don't no, want to have cauliflower balls. What the hell you want from me? See? See how that works? It's like, ma'am, if you were saying like, I don't know, it just feels like, I don't want you to feel like you're with me because you feel sorry for me. Because say someone's a mm-hmm. project that does seem kind of like, oh, I have, because you know, I feel a bit sorry for you. It's I'll basically you saying that. that you're broken. Correct. I got to fix you. You are not Captain save ho If that is the reason why you don't want to be with Marshall, say that. Mm-hmm. Because that, like, nobody would be fighting with you right nobody, now. Like, no, I'd be like, no, I can understand Everybody, that. I'm sure everybody had that reaction when they heard him say that. Yeah. And the fact that that white man named Nick Vile had me going, oh, God damn it. Are you serious? How does he get it? <laughs> it's like god oh god neck vile how do you get it? he's like yeah that seems a little like yeah call someone a project i don't know it's like yeah and the two marshall's credit he's like yeah uh, yeah i should have said that i'm like yeah no you shouldn't have mm-hmm. but the thing about it is it's like 
his missteps are being eclipsed by Jackie and how she's asking, ma'am, stop trying to defend this. Girl, why didn't you give him the ring back? Because when Vanessa mentioned the ring, did you see Josh's face? He was like, I know you better give him that goddamn ring back. <laughs> he was like, um, because it's like he shifted and he made this face. And I went, Oh, y'all haven't talked about this. Mm. It's like, cause he made this face like. Oh no, she, she y'all gonna get y'all damn ring back. She ain't keeping this shit. <laughs> it's like he had was, his face cracked me up. I'm like, oh y'all ain't talk about this. And Vanessa, the fact that you softball this, but you wanted to drill home what Marshall exactly said, and I will give her a pedal because Jackie said that he called her a slur. That's why she kept asking. It's like, mm-hmm. what did you say to her? She was like, oh, it's like, uh, yeah, he didn't call her a slur. Yeah. Is that what was he said problematic? Yes. yes. Was it offensive? Absolutely. Absolutely. But that's but she put twenty it. on ten. Exactly. And it's like, I, uh, it, like, oh my god! It's like Jack, I, Jackie has a lot of misplaced anger. Mm-hmm. Like you could see it, like during the show when mm-hmm. she was having like those kind of meltdowns, mm-hmm. just randomly, and. It, like she she responded with such anger to Marshall trying to be there for her. She has there is this misplaced anger, and I don't know where it's coming from. But yeah. I think a lot of her meanness is is rooted there. It's very much. It felt very much like she was um self sabotaging because I get it. Yeah, you just met him, y'all. But everybody who's like together on Love Is Blind talk about like it gets really intense and y'all really talk in the pods. It's kind of like okay, well, darling, why didn't you trust him enough to tell him exactly what's going on? This is a man that you're supposed to be allegedly marrying, mm-hmm. so you could have just like it, you didn't even have to have the conversation on camera. Because he had, he's like, I didn't even know. She didn't tell me. I'm like, yeah, because it's like, how would that even, it's like, he can't even broach that subject. Hey, is your dad sick? <laughs> it's like, right. what are you supposed to say? It's like, ma'am, if this is your person, you should have at least a little bit of trust that you can tell this person, hey, my dad has cancer. If that's yeah. allegedly true. I was like, I, if it's true, it's like, why? Where It's like, y'all supposed to be building a life and y'all are saying that we got really deep in the pods and sometimes I'm like, I, I don't really know if y'all did that. Because mm. at first I thought when Zach was talking about like losing a parent, I thought he I was like, wait, is this like a plot to a movie? Because this don't seem real. right. I was like, this don't seem real. And then I saw a story. I'm like, oh hell, his life is a lifetime movie. Mm. I was like, oh shit, but this is his real life. I'm like, uh, okay. So it was like, I'm like, I, I'm sorry. I'm not going to say prayers up for Jackie and Josh. Prayers down. I'm kidding. No, I'm not going to say prayers down. God, Jesus, I would never. It's like, the thing about it, if you fit, this is my thing. If you feel like what you did is best for you, you don't have to defend nothing. You do not, like the thing about Kwame and Chelsea, I'm like, Kwame, you ain't got to do that shit either. But you're like, I got to come in and show that I, I love this white woman. <sighs> okay. Do you see Brett and Tiffany doing all this shit? No, no, no. Hell, Zach and Bliss don't even really do all of that. It's more about the arena part of it. But not those two. He don't do all of that. They're like, we know what we, we know what we have. Zach and Bliss don't even do this shit. Mm-hmm. So it's like, you ain't got to do this shit. Like, no, it's like, uh, like Netflix, we don't need any live um, things. Do not, not, never, literally, ever do not again. You over promise and under delivered. I'm like, girl, that is marketing one on one, a no no. Mm-hmm. Like, it, it was, it's like, who asked for I'm, like live? I'm like, nobody. And, and, nobody and the funny thing this. is, every, pretty much everybody that I know that works in tech was like <laughs> let's see how this goes yeah that's the thing you can do a live <laughs> show on a network they, not if people on a- that don't if people that don't even work for your company know to be skeptical of right your when i tell you everybody like everybody something. tech was like bold strategy kind mm-hmm. let's see how this works this out works what? out <laughs> i'm like i am not in tech and i'm not in marketing and i'm sitting here like 
Y'all are not on NBC. This is not the fucking Oscars. Like, and they Mm -hmm. have a delay. So what do you, girl? Like, this is, it's very HBO and the Game of Thrones thing when HBO HBO couldn't get it together. Like, y'all have to do some stress tests for your your servers before these happen. Please. Because, mm, are you not embarrassed? (laughs) <laughs> i was like who asked for this live we just asked for the goddamn reunion like you literally exactly. could have taken you could have like, filmed this had a live studio audience and put it out this upcoming asked, friday like, this, y'all could have just did that i feel like this was a knee-jerk reaction to people upset about prices being raised and this whole mm-hmm. password sharing see we can have live streams like, no you can't it's worth the money it's worth the subscription. No, definitely not. Now when y'all clown it and y'all are trying to tweet through it, you know it's bad mm-hmm. when Bravo is saying something. I'm like, like we ain't never make and y'all like for a reunion. At- I said, bitch, uh-uh. Where's my family karma um, reunion? And, I ain't and got Bravo's one. At- y'all delayed Roni and then they, said, they, guess what? We put them on pause. I'm like, nothing. y'all can shut the hell up. I'm like, y'all Bravo might want to hush. talk to nobody about nothing technical when you're at nope. Nope. Just nope. logs people out whenever the fuck it wants to. Like, well, I'm like, I gotta freezes. log in again? What the hell? Like, I gotta log sh- in for what? Yup. I'm, like, I'm like, I don't want to log in again. Mm-hmm. Like, what is this, honey? It's mm-hmm. like, yeah. I, I'm like, like, you got blockbuster video coming out of nowhere to say something. I'm like, listen, what the- ain't nobody what? Wait, like, that is an unpaid person. Making Child, a blockbuster y'all account. Y'all going out of... I was like... And you should be embarrassed. So like, I'm like, are you not embarrassed? Because I'm like, I'm so sorry. I'd be like, damn, you know it's bad when blockbuster video is coming Listen. out of nowhere to say, hey, guess what? What the fuck they, do you mean, guess what? Hulu, Pluto, to be Child, they you like letting they them have like, it. Wait, they had it in the chamber. They were on call that evening. Hulu was like, um, they were getting Hula, paid. They were like, overtime. we do live sports out here, bitch. It's like, oh. Listen. Hulu, they had all the commercials. You can't Hulu be, does live sports. So you, does Peacock. You can't be making these these, these fatal mm-hmm. errors. You can't. Your stock is already dropping. You're losing some of your Dry best shows. Thing. And okay. You can't afford to keep those kind con- it's like child you might want to keep it on the low you might girl you put too much dip on your chip mm-hmm. and the thing about just like oh we're gonna do it oh girl we we are getting tired of your broken thing ain't nobody, nobody ask you for all that no one <laughs> asked for any of this they're like how can i have this issue with chris rock who the fuck was waiting around for chris rock mm-hmm. <clears throat> like, like wrong listen, answers only at this they, point they had five minutes of my my grace period and i went to bed right it was just like you know what i'ma just wait it's not that important i'ma just watch it was like i'm just watching the next day i'm like look replay gang hashtag replay gang and i'm like let me tell you something watching zach say let me tell you something you're not gonna talk about my friend that's like that's right that's Mm -hmm. right zach stand up for your boyfriend Mm -hmm. i'm like they this was extreme mid and i'm very for a season that had so much mm-hmm. potential for good content at a reunion, this was the worst reunion of a reality show. And, and it's like, and mind you, the last Selling Sunset reunion was the one, and I love Tan Friends. I really do. I love Tan. That was like some bullshit because Christine was not there. Give me, give me my Ice Queen, okay. <laughs> Give me my ice queen. Because, like, what the fuck are we talking about? Y'all issues are with Christine and she ain't here. So what's the point? Y'all can just shut it, shut it, shut it down. Shut it, shut she, she not here. She would rather go and film a commercial with Melissa Gorga for a game on an app than Ooh. come to y'all fucking reunion. It's like, <laughs> uh, Christine is the show. Christine is the poo. Take a big whiff. I'm like, <laughs> it's a girl, we're we not doing this. Okay. And the thing about it is, like, Vanessa and Nick, and, like, y'all need to do what Andrew does and lie on the internet. I'm kidding. He probably, no. 
when he asks for questions, he used he do use some of them questions. That's what y'all <laughs> need to do. Um, yes. hey, we're getting up for the reunion. What do y'all want to ask? Because some of that and stuff, like, it was like, Vanessa, I don't care what you are, think. If you are like, if if your angle that is that it's live. Uh-uh. have some live interaction on twitter or something um have some people like let me tell you something like, to BravoCon and put and put uh, up a bike do, and let people come and ask do questions. some dual tiktok like street like have netflix sh- y'all could have had an instagram live, live. y'all could have had yes. gearing up and then add people in who had mm-hmm. questions like yeah that were pre-screened and had questions because I know they can't just put anybody. Oh no, they don't. They, they, oh, oh, Bravo screen those questions. They're like, yeah. here's the question Ooh. that you can ask. Yeah. Um, so, um, don't do that again, Netflix. Please don't. <laughs> and the thing That's about it, it. is, it's like, <sighs> Nick, I get it. You have seemingly, allegedly, a anger issue. Mm. Allegedly, you have one. You got to go to the classes that tell you to calm the fuck down. Oh my. And then your wife has literally rocking, talking baby fever because oh she geez. wants these adults to literally give her a baby when she literally could just have a baby or adopt a baby or get a surrogate. Well, that Ma'am, taking care of that child, right? You you just want to be like, they oh my want, god, like we've had this over four seasons. It's like a newborn, like oh my god, we theirs. have a baby that came out of love is blind. I'm like, like girl. They, it, you had a season where all of the couples broke up. You might want to hush. And wait, I feel like somebody already is pregnant or had a baby. So it was a couple that was on the ultimatum. They came mm. to the reunion pregnant. Because she ah. came to the reunion pregnant. It was like, huh. Um, yeah. And so before we get out of here, so the ultimatum queer love, I said, okay. Mm. <laughs> I mm. want to because when they said queer love, I'm like, so we're not doing men and what I okay. I have questions because I don't know how this is going to not be problematic. I don't know either. I know one thing, it cannot let me tell you something. You better go get um Nisi and her hot ass wife and let her do this show. Mm. Nick and Vanessa can't do this shit. Okay. Like, no, 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 no. Mm-mm. Find you a couple. So go get Doogie and his husband, okay? Go get somebody else. Madam, go get Tan. <laughs> go get somebody else. Because I'm just like, why are y'all doing this? Because y'all haven't even done Love is Blind queer. Actually, yeah, I kind of don't know if I want that either. I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. And also, y'all said queer and not let... Girl, what are we doing? I kind of... As much as I like to see these people's train wrecks of love lives, I'm good with there being no more of these types of shows. Yeah, I just miss because this season being an outlier, Black women don't get treated very (laughs) nicely on these shows. Lord have mercy. And then there are you don't see any type of other people outside of you know like straight size very thin athletically built yeah people like mm. it's boring it is very boring i need to that's the thing y'all didn't give us very conventionally attractive is yeah i don't need that boring i'm like hey hi i'm a cishead i'm like i don't need to see that shit I'm like I'm bored. No, I need to see real shit. Mm-hmm. Like, like uh uh-uh. uh my queer friends, like their love lives are way more interesting. They're Hello. way more interesting people. Because I'm like, who who greenlit this and why y'all putting the shades there? Put somebody else. Can I because they're boring? Because it's like y'all don't ask the questions. Because on this level, I'm like, oh, I had tons of questions. And the first question, if I was host, would be like. So tell us why you're not here. Mm-hmm. You had a lot to say. You were like battling in the comments. It, it, you were in the DMs, in the social medias. Why did you not very, come to the reunion? 
it, it, so I can see her squirm. This is why you need Tamron Hall. It's if you want to get the screen, I, I don't want. I don't want dinner like, party conversations. I'm like, oh, we're just getting back together, and no, a lot of shit done happen. Mm-hmm. Micah and Arena should have been raked over the coals because they were mm-hmm. mean girls. Y'all only showing a little bit. I'm like, girl, uh uh-uh. Like you would think that they would have people, you know, cruising the internet for the most discussed topics from the show. It's better. And... Y'all brought up the whole Barbara thing. It's like y'all kept making that running joke. She's not a, she's not an actress. I'm like, so y- that's someone like, new. So, like, so y'all knew that. You no. Know, so you know, Irina and Micah have been. <sighs> They were trending for a while, like, uh huh. And, and everybody's got the same questions, like, why the fuck are you like that? <laughs> right. Basically. Right. It's like, come on. It's like, uh uh-uh, uh, you're not asking the questions. Like, girls, Mm-mm. take you and your angry ass husband and get off the stage. Uh uh-uh, uh, come here. <laughs> you, you, sit right here. It, what was the purpose y'all like the thing about it is y'all trying to act like y'all weren't being nasty and being just like this was a joke to you why mm-hmm. did you come here if this is a joke like, you did not come here like and pose a fuck boy don't even get me started <laughs> however comma what are you doing here because i'm like mm-hmm. i'm sorry paul is is as dull as dishwater yes and it's like, is he one of the more attractive people on this cast? Yes. yes. Notice I said on this cast. Cast. But boring is all hell. It's like, girl, it's like, I'm sorry. I'm like, I don't, I don't even live in Arizona. I would move to Arizona just to tell I'm moving from Arizona. No. <laughs> I'm not moving. Uh-uh, for you? Why? It was like... Anyway. <sighs> mm. mm. So, anyway. I don't know what's going to happen with... I'm... <sighs> I am going to attempt, I'm going to give it a benefit of the doubt for the ultimatum queer love, like girl who asked for this, but okay, I'm going to give the ultimatum because I want to see these. I'm like, let me see if y'all are going to be real or is it going to be, oh my God, why? I don't know if we're getting season five, but I think we are because they are actually trying to cast for the season. Apparently it's supposed to be around here somewhere Mm. in DC. I'm like, girl what oh okay yeah i was like girl Uh, they said that they were having trouble finding people in dc that's because they probably work for the government exactly no they got job jobs some of a lot of people who work and like and also do they live in dc probably not they Uh live either in like virginia Virginia, or maryland Maryland. Mm -hmm. and then they work in dc Mm -hmm. ain't coming on the show like you can't you can't have you better come up maybe if you come up to baltimore maybe philadelphia you work for the government you can't that that you can't go to dc you can't go to virginia it's like no Mm -hmm. it's not gonna work it's way too much government way too much military Mm -hmm. i mean you maybe could try maryland but still again military government Mm -hmm. like guys we're not gonna do this you might want to pick another city just pick yeah. something else go to california go to i would say no they've already done chicago um go up to boston wait have they done boston? Ew. um have they done new york they have not done new york new york might new be york an option be interesting that will be an option because it's like it's a lot and also mm-hmm. you damn sure could probably figure out that people probably wouldn't know each other because i mean the, yeah. the running joke about baltimore is that it's small tomorrow it's like you probably know <laughs> like it's like less than six degrees yeah i'm like wait you, how do you know that person it's like mm-hmm. wait how do you know that person <laughs> it's like oh because we went to high school girl what okay <laughs> but y'all i think we can put a button on love is blind hopefully we're not gonna get too many more of the tickety talks and we can go back to cake talk and we can talk about the fact that this girl who stole people's videos and photos about cakes and lying about a sprinkle cake that she got from the cake boss. Cake talk had me in a chokehold. I said, why? They are letting this little white girl have it. She's like, I'm 26. I'm, I'm self-taught. I'm like, girl, I'm it looks like it. I'm glad that I have not had the mental capacity to get into tiktok because i would be on there all the time the thing about it's like you There's hit one too much mess because the thing about it is now on tiktok when you look at somebody they like stitching or putting a video up if mm-hmm. you hit the comments it says search for this i'm like oh yes. lord it is like okay it, it's a it, rabbit hole it is like it's like a visual reddit 
It, it, it really is because people come out and like, do y'all see this shit? And it's like, I'm like, cake talk. I'm like, what the hell is, I'm like, wait a minute. Why is this woman who said I'm a professional baker literally putting spring jimmies on a cake with her bare hands? I'm like, girl, I ain't even oh, a dear. shit. I'm not even a baker. Like, what the hell? And it's like, ma'am, it that cake. So a woman who allegedly has a storefront and makes cakes does a six inch rainbow cake you know the one that had the different layers and mm-hmm. buttercream frosting and then it has sprinkles on the outside i'm like yeah because i could have swore that was the cake boss i was like i thought it was but she's making it seem like she gave up so somebody ordered one of her cakes and they wanted it for a birthday well what she it was literally looked like what she ordered and what she got because it looked Ooh. a hot ass mess it had according to some of the bakers it had like air pockets and on the top of it, it was supposed to be like happy birthday it looked like oh i don't know stephanie who is not a professional baker but it literally looked like a nailed it cake and so Ooh. here's the thing the customer is not the one who told us all of this it was the baker who said that oh i had a terrible time and then the customer's like oh really so then she put out all the receipts. She mm-hmm. showed the cake that she made. And also she made her own cake and it looked better. I'm like, and girl, she's not even a professional. Yo. It's like, get the fuck out of here. Like literally people came out of, people came out of all the Keebler elves came out of the trees to come drag this little white girl that's 26 years old. And apparently mm-hmm. now they're saying she stole pictures of cakes off of like Pinterest boards and off the internet and put it on her business. Ooh. I said, girl, this is messy. I'm here. I'm here at Cake Talk. Let me stay here because I got to get off the other TikToks. I'm going to stay on Cake Talk and watch them <laughs> r- drag this little white girl and her sprinkle cake. That was not her invention. I'm like, I could have. There was like, <laughs> he had like a cake kit where you could make your own and like you make, like put candy in the middle. So when you cut it, it got candy coming out. I'm like, Girl, you did not. What the hell? <laughs> it's like, girl, I swear. And then she's like, "I see y'all like to drag me because y'all." Like, uh, and then I was like, "Really? Mm-hmm. If you really a down ass bitch, turn the comments back on. Mm-hmm. Turn the comments back on. Mm-hmm. You raggedy because you tired of being dragged because you wrong. Yeah, I'm gonna tweet through <laughs> it, girl. Meanwhile, mm-hmm. you ain't got no business. But Asa." Thank you so much for being here. I swear, TikTok had, I'm like, I was screaming at these videos. They had you in a I was like, oh, I was like, TikTok. I'm like, oh, girl, this is a mess. <laughs> but Asa, please tell everybody how they can follow you, how they can follow Black Girl Missing, all of the uh, things. Oh, sweet Jesus, I'm never ready for this. Uh. <laughs> I love how you're like, oh my God, is it my turn? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, hmm. Yes, you can follow us on the social media. So that's Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Just search for Black Girl Missing Podcast. You can also check out our website at blackgirlmissingpodcast.com. You can find me perhaps maybe at Sanity Thief on Twitter and Instagram. And did I be out in these streets? She do. Please follow. She's a fun follow. I'm not even gonna hold you. <laughs> That's why I follow. They're like, girl, you like tell me you see this? I sure did, girl. Girl. <laughs> cause cause Asa was like, are we talking about love and blood? I'm like, Don't threaten me with a good time because we know yes. it. Is. We're not talking about this because mm. girl. That's Listen. it. I feel like, like the fact that the there's a petition to get Nick and Vanessa the fuck up off the reunion. Not it, any part of the show. Just not the reunion. Just the reunion. It lets me know, that I'm, not reunion. Reunion. Lets right, me know that I'm petition. in the right. Yeah, because you are. Because I was like, you ain't going to ask the right questions. Them being on the show is fine. You just need a reunion host, girl. Because you're not going to ask the question. We're going to do a reunion. Where's Nina Parker? Mm. Hey, busy. We need like, some well, profession now. We need somebody who's going to be the hell. Go get John Sally. Bring his ass, like girl. We look. <laughs> Listen, John. He was with the mess. Okay? okay, he was with the all. He was with every single one of the shits. Okay, I love it. I love it. <laughs> but y'all, this has been a Milkman's podcast. I will be back next week. Oh, what a surprise! I'm so excited. Okay, but yeah, I, I can't tell y'all what it is yet. But yes very surprised very uh, touched this person just touched my heart but i'll be back next week